Fermented stevia leaves exhibit properties it's an anti-cancer. A group of scientists from Japan have determined that fermented stevia, a plant from which a commonly used sweetener is made, it has strong anti-cancer properties. These tests are at an early stage and they require further work, but they suggest a potential future role of stevia in fighting pancreatic cancer. Researchers at the University of Hiroshima have discovered that stevia, fermented with the participation of specific bacteria from banana leaves, assess the ability to kill pancreatic cancer cells without damaging it healthy kidney cells. The fermentation process strengthens natural properties plants through microbial biotransformation, forming a strong compound called chlorogenic acid methyl ester came. Fermented extract of stevia it has shown significant anti-cancer potential in the tests and can represent a new direction in anti-cancer therapies based on probiotics. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal The International Journal of Molecular Sciences. Stevia is a plant belonging to the Asteraceae family. Naturally, it is found mainly in South America and Central America. There are about 260 species. The most famous is that it is made from it is popular sweetener, which is characterized by zero calorific value and zero value of the glycemic index. In addition, it exhibits properties anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, diuretic, immunostimulating, anti-convention and antiseptic. But stevia can offer more than just a caloric-free one an alternative to sugar. Fermentation of stevia extract with bacteria derived from banana leaves, forms substances that have the capacity to killing pancreatic cancer cells without damaging healthy kidney cells. Pancreatic cancer is one of the most difficult to treat the cancers. Symptoms usually appear only after spreading diseases, and conventional therapies such as chemotherapy rarely bring the effects. Prognosis at this cancer is fatal. Less than 10% of patients he has lived 5 years since his diagnosis. Pancreatic cancer is highly invasive, prone to metastases and has significant resistance to existing treatments, such as surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Therefore, there is an urgent need to identify new and effective anti-cancer compounds, especially those coming from plants," said Nirndalai Donchi at Sadal from the University of Hiroshima, CO author of the publication. Previous research has suggested that stevia leaf extracted can help fight cancer, because stevia leaves are rich in bioactive compounds, with some of which have shown anti-cancer and antioxidant effects but precise determination and isolation of specific active compounds turned out to be its hard. Japanese researchers came up with the idea that the fermentation process could help here. It changes the structure of stevia extract, leading to new ones the bioactive metabolites. These are compounds that can affect systems the biological. To increase the pharmacological effectiveness of natural plant extracts, microbial biotransformation has become effective the strategy, said Masanori Sugiyama, CEO author of the study. Working scientists in the Sugiyama lab, they isolated and evaluated the health benefits of more than 1,300 strains of lactic acid bacteria from fruits, vegetables, flowers, and plants medicinal. In this study, we wanted to compare extracts fermented by bacteria of lactic acid and unfermented to identify key compounds, which increase bioactivity, ultimately contributing to effectiveness herbal medicine in cancer prevention and therapy, explained Sugiyama. In laboratory tests fermented stevia extract with plant strain lactobacillus plantarum SN13T, FSLE, 
it caused the death of large numbers of pancreatic cancer cells but left behind healthy kidney cells largely without damage. Our findings indicate that FSLE shows much larger cytotoxicity than non-fermented extract in equivalent concentrations as it suggests that the fermentation process increases the bioactivity of the extract. What is important? FSLE showed lower toxicity to kidney cells, Sugiyama said. Additional analyses identified the acid methyl ester chlorogenic came, as an active anti-cancer compound. It works by blocking cancer cells in a specific phase of their cycle life, preventing their multiplication and causing apoptosis a natural process in which cells self-destruct when they are damaged or are no longer damaged we need it. Team seems to change the genetic programming of cells the cancerous. Activates genes that promote cell death at the same time by inhibiting those that help cancer cells grow and survive. It is up to phi double impact both slows down the development of cancer and promotes self-killing there are cancer cells. After fermentation, the concentration of chlorogenic acid in the extract it has dropped six times, as Don Chiatsudal says, indicates a transformation microbiological. This microbiological transformation was probably caused by specific enzymes in the used strain of bacteria. Our data they show that came exhibits stronger cell toxicity and action propoptotic, which promotes cell death compared with acid itself chlorogenic, Don Chiatsudal admitted. In further work, scientists intend to test detected a relationship on mice. All this to determine the effectiveness of different doses. This study significantly deepened our understanding of the mechanism of action lactobacillus plantarum SN13T strain in extract fermentation herbal, while offering a valuable research perspective on the topic potential use of probiotics as natural remedies and neoplastic, Don Chiatsudal said. It should be emphasized that the cells were used in the research grown in the lab. However, many substances that look promising on Petri's dishes, he's not going through clinical trials. Still, the discovery is promising and needs further research. Thank you.